Hello and welcome. If you are anything like me, you get to places on your bicycle, but you are using Tasker. This means you are an individual. This means you like things to be done your way, even the alarm. Chances are that you live in a city and your route to the work will take you twice as long if you use public transport or about 20 to 30 minutes if you're on a bicycle. And I don't think either of us would like to get up early just to have a look through the window and check if the weather is okay to cycle. You are in a good luck because we're going to focus today on alarm clock that is driven by the weather. So without further introductions let's just dive in and I'll explain step by step how to create an alarm like that. To make things a little bit more difficult I work nights and also I don't work set days in a week. This means I cannot use regular time triggers to execute my tasks. I'm going to use my calendar as a trigger well, exactly a notification from the calendar as a trigger to give me enough of a warning to get up and get ready. You want to set your notification time for about an hour before the get up time, just to leave yourself enough time. Also memorize what are you going to enter as a title of the event as we're going to use with the auto notification plugin. As I mentioned, we're going to use a calendar. If you've got more regular job, feel free to use a different trigger. Based on the calendar entry, on a set amount of time before the event, we're going to receive a notification which is going to trigger our profile. When this is received, we want to check for the weather, we want to download the latest information about the weather conditions and to use it for our alarm. For this task, I'm going to use ActionBox plugin. Once the weather has been downloaded, we're just going to extract needed information and obviously if the weather is nice we want to give ourselves enough time to cycle to work. This update should cover several different weather conditions from cloudy or partially cloudy to clear skies. If the weather is bad, if it's raining or thunderstorming we obviously don't want to use a bicycle and we want to set the alarm with enough time to get us to work in a public transport. If you use a car, you can make adjustments for this as well. Let's say we're going to need about two hours to get up, get ready and set off. If the weather is nice, however, that allows me to stay an extra hour in bed because my commute time on a bicycle is much shorter. So during the sunny conditions, I'd like to set off on a bike and enjoy the way to work. In this case, I will set alarm an hour later. And let's face it, who doesn't like extra bedtime? We're going to start our task profile with setting up new folder, I'm gonna call mine cycle alarm, and we're going to use event trigger auto notification on intercept, and we're going to configure it to intercept our Google Calendar notification. We want our phone to respond to newly created message with notification ID one coming from application calendar. Also, I'm going to set the package name for the calendar application because we're later going to use this to cancel this notification. We also want to set notification title, which corresponds to our event name. In my case, this is work. Okay, the boring bit is over. Let's go back and create new task now. Simply call it whatever you want. For me, it's just a cycle alarm. As I mentioned before, we're going to use ActionBox plugin, which you can download from the Google Play Store. Thanks to this plugin, we can easily download current weather information and display it in a tasker. The weather will be stored in AB underscore weather variable. However, in order to use it, we have to paste it into a temporary variable to make it validated on our profile. Once the variable and its value is established, we're no longer going to need a temporary variable. I'm just going to run this task to show you how the variable going to looks like. 
As you can see, we've received a variable that contains current information from the weather type to information about the pressure. We need to split this information into more useful, smaller parts, and this is where arrays and variable splits come to play. Before we do that, however, I want to make sure that we're not going to progress with our task list any further until our newly created variable is set. If you have a closer look at the weather information that we received, you'll notice that all the informations are separated by exclamation mark. This is very useful to us because we can use this exclamation mark as something to separate each part of the message. Variable split will cut our variable into pieces whenever exclamation mark is present. This means we'll receive several parts of that main message, an array of variables. Each one of them will contain the information that was put in between the exclamation marks in the main variable. Now, but this information is not very useful to us yet. We're going to split one of the variables again, in this case, for weather number two. Using variable split again, we can simply slice it in the middle using column. This means it will create a child array of two variables coming from the ab underscore weather two. I'm just going to execute this task to show you how does it looks like. You will see two new variables, weather 21 and weather 22. It's the weather 22 that we are interested in as will contain a source of our weather conditions. Also, before we go any further, we want to make sure that the task will wait until the new variable is set. Next thing on the list is create an if condition. Action box uses open weather APIs, which means you, we can look up each weather type on the website. In this way, we can simply decide whether tornado is good weather conditions for us to cycle, or would you rather take a public transport? You have to remember that information is available in weather 22 variable, and for multiple conditions, we're going to select condition OR. I'm going to add a few of them I consider reasonable for cycling, and then we're going to continue with our profile. If weather is good enough for cycling for us, we want to decide what time we want to set our alarm. Because I work nights, I'm going to set it to 6 p.m. Now we have our if statement completed. We have to close it by using what happened else. So if outside rains, cats and dogs, I'd rather settle for a public transport. I'm going to copy my alarm and paste it after the else statement and set it to something more reasonable, giving me plenty of time to get ready. Let's, let's set it to five. To return to our main tasks list, we have to close the statement if by using and if, and then following tasks will be executed regardless of the conditions. Once everything is set, we should clean up a bit and delete the values for our array and for our variable itself. And speaking of cleaning up, the last thing we have to do is delete the notification from our calendar. Auto notification cancel will help us with it. We set ID previously to 1, so we're going to add it now, and also we're going to enter the name of the package we want to delete. This should be enough to identify correct notification and cancel it. It's a good practice to name your profile, so I'm going to do so as well. Don't forget to delete the variable we created, the temp one. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I saved you some time to be used in bed. I also hope you've got better understanding on how to use arrays in your profiles. Let me know what you think about this tutorial, leave the comments below and as always, I'll see you in the next one.